Edward Shevardnadze began his inauguration day in a cemetery. The visit was appropriate and necessary in a small country torn by strife since independence four years ago. Shevardnadze said his time as Soviet foreign minister was calm compared to his three years in the Georgian government. As Georgia's second popularly elected president, Shevardnadze has vowed to rebuild the country. That will be a difficult task even though he won 74% of the vote two weeks ago. Some internal opponents have shown they're willing to use force to get their way, and Abkhazian separatists are still holding out in the northwest. Shevardnadze is hoping for a period of calm so he can concentrate on the economy. Much depends on the security forces. There are large numbers of armed men in Georgia, and not all of them are in the army. The last president lost power in a civil war against militias controlled by opposition politicians and warlords. Shevardnadze used to refuse an armored car. That all changed when he was almost killed by a car bomb. As a popularly elected president, Shevardnadze hopes the strife is behind him. After an army salute to mark his inauguration day, he was given a public blessing by the Georgian Orthodox Patriarch. There are many who believe he will indeed need divine help to bring Georgia together.